Good morning. Good to be with you in God's house here today. I'm going to going to do a little different here for, for uh, saying good morning to the radio folks. We're going to say, Blessed Christmas Radio, those three words, okay? Just to say good morning. Usually we just say, Good Morning Radio, but we're going to change things up this morning. We can, we can do that, all right? Ready? One, two, three. Blessed Christmas Radio. Good. We have a lot of different things going on this morning. Um, vast majority of what we're going to do with the worship that we're going to do, do is led by uh, young Christians from, from our congregation. And, and there is no PowerPoint that's going to go along with this. So if your uh, eyes are weak and you're usually relying on that PowerPoint to see there are some large prints uh, out there to, to take advantage of, just uh, uh, let an usher know, let me know, and, and we'll get you, get you set up with that. So, uh, please follow along in the service folder, congregational parts, uh, singing some hymns. Uh, when we get to Psalm 24 on pages 4 and 5, congregation is asked to sing in the refrains, uh, just the refrains, let the Lord enter refrain, uh, and the uh, the young adult Christians will be taking care of the rest, and, and uh, just follow along, and, and we'll get through our get through our service. So let's get started this morning, top of page two, with our opening dialogue. We begin our Christmas worship in the name of God the Father. We begin our Christmas worship in the name of God the Son. We begin our Christmas worship in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And would you give your attention to the screen? We'll have our first hymn up there, uh, a melody led by, by Point A and uh, the, the the lyrics, the words, the verses of this uh, first hymn where shepherds lately knelt is on the screen.
To us the Savior is born. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. And his soul the music and song. For the Lord is the great God. The great King of all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. And the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be forever. Oh. 
verses 1 through 3. The Lord had said to Abraham, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you will be will curse. And all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 2 through 7. He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. The prophecy is fulfilled in John chapter 19, verses 25 through 30. We read, Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of, wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, Here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Later, knowing that all was now completed, and so the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant, and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. We now continue with this <coughs> next hymn. Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. 
But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. We now continue with the next hymn.
verse 2. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old, from ancient times. We will now read together Luke 2. And watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were so, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, Lying in a manger. And suddenly there was, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Heaven, and it, and it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go, on, go even unto Bethlehem. And see this thing which has which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abro abroad which the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they ha and all that ha all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them, by, which told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all of these things and pondered them in her heart. 
and the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen. And it was told unto them. Next verse is 7 of 7.
Would you please stand as we pray this morning? We pray. Great and gracious Lord, author and provider of everything we are and have, we thank you for another opportunity this morning to gather as brothers and sisters in the saving faith to worship your holy name and to grow in saving faith through the blessing of your word. We realize a tremendous need we have concerning our sins, and we grow in anticipation of the birth of our one and only Savior from sin. Lead each of us to give our first attention and our greatest thanks for this fulfillment of your promise. Lead us to show our thanks by the godly lives we live as we let the light of our faith shine out in a sin-darkened world. We place the needs and the guidance and the protection of ourselves, our families, and our friends in your almighty hands, knowing that you hear and answer all our prayers, and you also give us gracious gifts we don't ask for. During this busy week when so many people are traveling, we ask that you watch over all the travelers and give them safe journeys, whether it be long or short. Bless and protect us all so we may continue to grow in your grace and serve you and those around us here in Norfolk, Nebraska. Dear Jesus, we humbly yet confidently ask for your blessings on Hal Tesh and Roxanne Johnson uh, after Hal's accident and Roxanne dealing with her illness. We ask that you give extra strength and patience to Hal and Roxanne's family during these challenges. Remind them that it is you that guides and blesses the efforts of doctors and nurses, and we ask that you bless those efforts. Now we wait and watch for what the season will bring us. Help, help us to help those who cannot help themselves, and give hope to those who have no expectations. Bless us all as we wait for our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We ask these things in his name, dear Lord, because he has also taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May Jesus, who by his miraculous incarnation, fill us with abundant joy that comes with the knowledge of the forgiveness of sins and the hope of eternal life. May the blessing of God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Please be seated. And let's give our attention and closing our, our service here this morning with joy to the world. Also, I'm going to be do like, doing like we did with our first hymn. Uh, sing along, follow the words with our, our hymn on the screen. <laughs> 